November 18, 2017, 1908 Rugby Union Elliot Daly claims an England Tringland claimed a fifth successive victory over Australia after running amok in the closing stages at Twickenham to emerge 306 winners. England tries daily 54 Joseph 72, May 79, Care 80 conversions Farrell 54, 72 penalties Farrell 7, 33 Australia penalties Hodge 49, Foley 64 Match report England claimed a fifth successive victory over Australia after running amok in the closing stages at Twickenham to emerge 306 winners. Seven days after Eddie Jones apologised for an expletive laden outburst in the coach's box, it was Michael Caker's turn to rage for a series of decisions that went against the Wallabies. Referee Ben O'Keefe sent Michael Hooper and Curtly Beale to the sin bin and disallowed tries by Hooper and Marika Korobiti for offside, infuriating Checker who twice stalked down the stairs to protest to the officials. England were the superior team and emerged comfortable winners, but they enjoyed the rub of green including in a key moment when Elliot Daly crossed in the 54th minute. Repeated viewings by the TMO showed the ball that Daly grabbed possibly grazed the touchline, but there was no doubt over the late tries from Jonathan Joseph, Johnny May and Danny Kerr that buried the Wallabies. Australia fell apart in the closing stages and the result failed to reflect a contest that remained open until Joseph touched down. Hooper was shown a yellow card for collapsing them all and repeated offsides amid a series of forwardled thrusts from the host that ended with a second Farrell penalty. Checker seethed in the stands as Beale followed Hooper into the sin bin for a deliberate knock-on and England were making headway by using their pack to bludgeon a route through the gold jerseys. Johnny May slides in for an England try Reese Hodge landed a monster penalty to set Australia off the mark and they could have taken the lead but for spilt balls from Samu Keravi and Tevi to Kuradrani. The second of those near the England 22 allowed Jones' men to counter-attack and when Ben Youngs thumped the ball ahead, Daly was able to gather and touch down via a bounce that fell inside the touchline by only millimetres. Foley booted a penalty and Australia saw a try by the lightning fast Marika Korobiti ruled out for offside against Stephen Moore. The Wallabies could have drawn level if that score had been given, but instead Joseph May and Kerr plundered late tries. Match reaction England head coach Eddie Jones on the TMO decisions Why do we have a referee? Why do we have TMOs? How were we lucky? They deten replays of video and they make a decision. This is the best referee in the world for today. We had the best guys in the TMO and you're saying we're lucky because the decisions went our way. Australia head coach Michael Checker We showed a lot of courage, a lot of determination. We stayed in the game against a fair bit of adversity and then when the moments came to really get back in the game, to put pressure on England, we made some mistakes, released that pressure, and they were able to capitalise on those errors. Related links 1 Phil Taylor destroyed Daryl Gurney 164 to reach the Grand Slam of Dart semi-finals and will meet Michael Van Gerwen, who edged Rob Cross in an epic Clash.2 review, reports and updated odds from Saturday's action in the Premier League, including Manchester United beating Newcastle 41.3 after making profits on Saturday following perfect candidates win. Ben Linfoot seeks out the best value bet in the Great Wood Hurdle at Cheltenham on Sunday.4 Anita Chambers has a tip for every race in Britain and Ireland on Sunday, including a nap selection on the final day of Cheltenham's November meeting. Point five. Ruby Walsh suffered a broken leg in a fall from Let's Dance at Punchestown on Saturday. Point one. Phil Taylor destroyed Daryl Gurney 164 to reach the Grand Slam of Dart semi-finals and will meet Michael Van Gerwen, who edged Rob Cross in an epic Clash. Point two. Review reports and updated odds from Saturday's action in the Premier League, including Manchester United beating Newcastle 41.3 after making profits on Saturday following perfect candidates win. Ben Linfoot seeks out the best value bet in the Great Wood Hurdle at Cheltenham on Sunday. Point four. Anita Chambers has a tip for every race in Britain and Ireland on Sunday, including a nap selection on the final day of Cheltenham's November meeting. Point five. Ruby Walsh suffered a broken leg in a fall from Let's Dance at Punchestown on Saturday. After making profits on Saturday following perfect candidates win, Ben Linfoot seeks out the best value bet in the Great Wood Hurdle at Cheltenham on Sunday. Anita Chambers has a tip for every race in Britain and Ireland on Sunday, including a nap selection on the final day of Cheltenham's November meeting. David Wood's Horsby, Horse Guide to Sunday's Uni Bet Great Wood Hurdle ends with a very long short list. Next race off 0244 Delta Downs Gladius or May Roberto Morales Gage and Creed A Gerard Mellencombe Talking J Diego Science David John is backing Marco Arnautovic to net for West Ham against Watford as Sunday's best Premier League bet.
Nick Hex is going for goals in the second half when Leeds host Middlesbrough in the Sky Bet Championship on Sunday afternoon. A look at how the sporting life recommended bets have performed.